Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Today is a Heaven Hill Bottles and Bond Showdown. Well, we did an exercise just like this one week ago where we took a brand, chose a bottle off the bottom shelf, middle shelf, and top shelf to see how they stacked up against one another. We liked it so much, we're doing it again. Yeah, and I don't know what to call this series. You're gonna have to help us out because we keep thinking like good, better, best, bottom shelf, middle shelf, top shelf, verticals, which doesn't really work. Yeah, there's gotta be something, something a little- sexier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So this week we are going to Heaven Hill and we're starting with the bottom shelfer here. This is the working man's bourbon. This is Evan <laughs> Williams bottled and bond, the white label. This bottle is much beloved and we got this one for $16. It's aged four plus years, some say five years. That's probably accurate. Uh, 16 bucks, that's crazy. I love it. Next up is a bottle that's actually not available in Oregon. We got it in our travels. It's the Heaven Hill seven year bottled and bond that is a $50 bottle. I don't know what you're getting it for out there. I think other people are probably getting it cheaper than we are. We just happened upon it in California and couldn't help ourselves because we wanted to try it. And next up is the Allocated or Top Shelf bottle. This is the Old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bond. This is the Spring 2021 release, the eight year aged version. We got this one, Oregon MSRP, no sales tax, $85. Obviously, the difference here among these three bottles is that they are not the same mash bill. The Old Fitzgerald is the weeded mash bill. And you know me, I am always pulling for bottom to middle shelf. So last time top shelf won, we'll see how that goes today. Julie poured them, I mixed them around. We were gonna nose glass, taste it from right to left, left to right, A, B testing, and then we'll tell you our decisions. Glass one. Here we go. Pleasant enough. Caramel, good vanilla. Brown sugar, usual suspects. A little bit of oak in there. And I think some maple. Moving on to glass two. There's a similarity here. Not a huge surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a deeper brown sugar there. Yeah, I got like a baby hint of cherry, but almost like a dark cherry on that. Yeah, this one almost has a cherry wood to it, a dry wood. All right, glass three. Glass three. Well, this one's different. Brighter. I would agree with that. A bit, a bit of pink bubble gum in there. Red cherry. Maybe a little more vanilla on that one than the others. Yeah, vanilla and oakiness. I like the smell of all three of these. Yeah, I they didn't give a lot away. I, yeah, I think that's a great way to say it. Yeah, now for the fun stuff. On a glass one. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, it drinks a, a smidge thin, like a baby hint of nuts in there. Yeah, a little but nut. But good oak, nice caramel. There's some spice here, some mm -hmm. cinnamon, some caramel, vanilla. Usual suspects, very similar to what we got on the nose. I'm not getting any of the maple that I was hoping for. <laughs> nice anyways. I was gonna say it has a wonderful proof point, but then they're all gonna be the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. There's, it's not, it's, seriously, it's a nice sip. Very pleasant, good little whiskey. There's nothing that's like super surprising in that sip. It's just really nice whiskey. I completely agree. Sip of water, move on to oh. glass two. Let's see how glass two goes. The noses, remember, were quite similar quite from similar. one and two. Ooh, there's a little more fruit here on the nose now. Mm-hmm. Oh, they taste different. Yeah, this one's very subtle, almost more cohesive. I really like this one. I don't have a lot in the way of tasting notes yet, just it hit my palate. Mm -hmm. So, so far, so good, glass two. Gonna have to have another sip to see what we find in there, but that's awfully nice. There's nothing that really blows me away on this glass. Unsurprising. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's sort of the Heaven Hill profile. Yeah. It's just sort of straight down Main Street. Mm -hmm. Always been super consistent. It's not the most exciting brand in, in the world, usually. Just good whiskey. Yeah, and I'm always somebody that's looking for, like, a real hard hit of fruit or some farminess or something. So this is probably, you know, like, more baseline. Like, yeah beautiful baseline flavors. And so I'm gonna have to kind of... We're gonna need to dig in. Dig in, yeah. yes, exactly. I do like this one though. Uh, it coats nicely. Strangely, I'm actually getting a little bit of maple on the finish from this one. Oh. I think it's a little less spicy than number one. I do get a little bit more woodsiness out of glass too. Woodsiness. <laughs> I hate to keep saying that it's really nice, but it is. It's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, the cherry and the vanilla on the finish there, that's, that's still hitting my palate. I like that. That's 
You are a big Heaven Hill guy. I am. One last note on glass two before we move on to glass yeah. three. I got a little bubble gum on the finish there. Oh. Which you didn't get it on that glass on the nose. <laughs> Somewhere in here you found some bubble gum. So there's some kind of consistency going here. Yeah. Maybe it's the brand. Glass three. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what any of these are. These actually all drink quite similar. Very similar, yeah. And that's, honestly, that's what we were hoping for yeah. when we did this challenge, when we set this type of tasting up. We want to know just how big is that difference. And so far, on the first way through here, pretty similar. This one, spice, cherry, vanilla, some of that peanut brittle, just a hint yeah. of it. But once again... Ooh, I got yeah, a little cinnamon on this glass. For sure. Once mm -hmm. again, nice. It's nice whiskey. That it could is. be the title of this this video. <laughs> Heaven nice. Hill, it's nice whiskey. <laughs> for me to sit here after drinking whiskey for the last couple of years to say, I have no idea which one is which. I mean, I can't even remember what I drank yesterday, but <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I like to think I'm pretty good at this. Yeah. First way through, I couldn't tell you what any of these is. Yeah. This is a really exciting challenge. I'm, I'm getting more and more excited about this as we sit here. I actually like now have a smile on my face because I thought, oh man, that glass number three has to be, you know, the $85 one. And I drank it, I was like, no, it could be the $60 one. I thought the exact same thing. As we were going for glass three, I thought, there's this is gonna have to be it. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Vanilla, cinnamon, cherry, the finish here, there's something special about the finish. Yes, I like the finish on glass three. It's like a dried vanilla frosting. It does have a little bit more pronounced flavors in glass three. I think so I agree things with that. that you can kind of pick out, which is something that I'm always looking for. And this is the one that's by far stood out. I'll write down some tasting notes on this one and then we'll go back the other direction. Very interesting. I always gotta save my uh, glasses for the A-B testing, but I'm just gonna take a baby sip of three and then probably move on to two. Oh, I think that's a great strategy. Yeah, you know what I like about this? It's nice. <laughs> it is, but there's just a nice hint of that nuttiness. Sometimes like when yeah. things taste a little bit nutty, that is like the prevailing flavor note. And that throws me off. It's just a nice yeah. sip. <laughs> Got my head on straight with glass three. Let's try number two. Here we go. That shifted a little bit. Did you get bubblegum on that now? Because now I'm getting a lot of it. I got a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of coffee on glass number two. It kind of reminds me of being on the trail for some reason. A little vegetal. Yeah. Interesting. In the past, I have gotten an earthiness on one of these bottles. I'm not gonna tell you which one it Please was. Please do not, yes. I like how the noses shift on the way back too. Like we always talk about the palate shifting, but the noses actually become more pronounced. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go on to glass number one. Oh man. Number one is pretty good now. <laughs> Did feel a little basic the first time around. Yeah, I agree. I'm getting a lot more on this one now. Like a little bit of honey, a little bit of nuts, but a lot of sweetness mm -hmm. on the back end here. It coats nice, the finish is nice, mm -hmm. but I would still say that that one has the least uh, going for it in terms of things that stand out, that grab your attention. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that, of course. We've gone this way, we've gone this way, and it's maddening a little bit because I have no idea what each one of these is. I thought for sure one of them would stand on its head and blow us away. Yeah. That's not happening here, and it's making me so excited for this series. I know, and I actually was gonna say the exact same thing that I thought, oh, somebody will you know, rise to the top. I have no idea. The $16 bottle is in here, yep. and I have no idea which one it is, which is, in my opinion, fabulous. Heaven Hill makes so many bottled so and bond many. bottles. So if yeah. you're looking at this going, where's JW Dant? Where is McKenna? We did McKenna? talk about throwing that in. We could only choose three. We went bottom shelf, middle shelf, upper shelf. We may do this again with another assortment of Heaven Hill bottles, but this is I think this is a great selection. Yeah, I am so excited to A-B yeah. test, and we are going to do that right now, and we'll be right back with our decisions. Man, the... The nose on glass one is so nutty now. There is just a, a touch of astringency in glass number one. Didn't notice it before. I gotta say, this uh, Evan Williams yeah. bottle and bond is standing up today because that's not even my favorite Evan Williams. I like yeah. 1783 the best. I love that bottle yeah. because I like the coconut notes on it. This one is doing something special today. I want things to taste really different. Yeah. Like if I get a new batch or if I get like a 
another addition in the line of X. I want it to taste so much different and smell so much different than the one that I bought the year prior. Yeah. But most people, I feel like, they love the comfort of like, Flavor that profile. flavor profile. Flavor profile is your comfort blanket. And yeah, Heaven Hill. Yeah, and that's what they've yeah. done here. Is it wrong to say that Heaven Hill is a proper Com <laughs> comfort blanket? <laughs> I like it. I might need to steal a sip of your glass, too. Again? What if I put Old Fitz in third? Oh, this, if if this Old Fitz winds up in so third, nervous. we are going to be <laughs> hated by many and loved by just as many, I suspect. <laughs> look down and realize that uh, all but one of my glasses are missing. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answers here. There's just whiskey. Correct. Put that on a t-shirt. All right, give Ooh, me your- that would make a great t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> give me your third place. I feel like this is where we're gonna split already. Probably. Third place for me, glass number two, it just felt a little boring for my taste. I found glass number two to be lovely, cohesive, it didn't blow me away at all, but that mm -hmm. is a word I like to use lately, <laughs> crushable. That oh, is it was, yeah. very easy drinking and lovely whiskey. And for me, that one finishes in second. Let's find yeah. out what this is. This is letter B. It is. Hold on, sit. What was it? What is letter B? Do you really want to know? I mean, yeah, this is the point. Like, we did this for a reason. It's the old fit. Oh, I put it in third place. That's crazy because we love the old I did. Well, I feel like I, the, for the very first time that I drank it, I was like, I don't understand what everyone's going so crazy about. It's fine. Well, it's a pretty bottle. It's beautiful. Wow. Old fit but finished I third for you, second for me. Already now down. I'm even more nervous about what I put in first place. <laughs> I can't wait to see what your first place is. <laughs> All right, second place is my glass number one. And okay. what happened with that one, even though this is more astringent overall, which is kind of a turnoff, to be perfectly honest, mm -hmm. I liked the flavors that came through on that one after you got through the astringency. Yeah, I would say that this one was very, very close for me, but I did put it in third, this glass number one. Oh, uh, I put perfect. this one in third because of the astringency, it was just a touch thinner than the others. It didn't totally live up to the competition here, but, Again, nice whiskey, all three of these. Nice. I Let's have see. no idea what this is gonna, I'm like so nervous. Glass one is C. C. Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond. Okay, great, so we just flipped that one. We did, okay. and what's, I, I feel a little relieved actually. <laughs> I feel like we were about to lose like all of our subscribers by putting the $60 bottle in first place. I'll but, be completely honest. But it was really quite, Good. If you're talking Evan Williams white label, <laughs> you're not losing any subscribers. This yeah. bottle is much loved in the whiskey world and with good reason. Yeah. Stands up very well. For that price, that's fantastic. I'm so excited by how close all three of these were, and which means that by now you already know that the winner for both of us is this seven year bourbon. Yeah. And I wow. just want to point out that Phil makes the decisions probably more logical, and I make them, I'm just pure joy and... Uh, You're an emotional being. I'm an emotional being that goes. makes them on the moment, and I'm happy, and I love that this came in first. It's a, One for the yeah. price point, people are seeking allocated everywhere, and I keep telling our friends, family, everybody, Stick within that like thirty-five to sixty-five dollar range. There's so many great bottles, and like you'll never be thrown off. Like it's so delicious in well, that range. Well, you can be, but stick well, with you us. Can. It will <laughs> yeah, help. true. Uh, but I, I love this bottle, this Heaven Hill bottle. I love that it just says this bourbon is seven years old on it. Like it was written. The marketing team is maybe robots. I'm not totally sure, uh, but I love the style of it. It's it's a little off white. It's yeah, not, you know, it's classic and weird <laughs> and I love that style and I really wish it was available here in Oregon because it's great and I'd like to share it with everybody. I can't wow. believe I put the $85 bottle in third place. <laughs> I'm, you know me, I'm pumped. These are all, I would say that these are all very nice whiskeys. Yeah. Nice. What did we learn today? $16 will get you a great bottle of bourbon so do not fear the bottom shelf but that guy right there, the Heaven Hill seven year bourbon quality. Glad we got it for 50 bucks. I don't feel bad about that price and yeah. I did before. I thought maybe we shouldn't have spent that much for it. Now I'm pretty yes. happy that we got it even for that price. And what else? From wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. I can't believe it. <laughs>